what is going on everybody it is daybreak on memorial day and i am relocating my beehives apiary whatever you want to call it my brother is selling me a piece of property that i hope to build a house on some year hopefully next year but i am slowly moving stuff over i've already moved the shed over i've already taken out my fence here that's already moved over there and got a bunch of my equipment loaded up so far got a little more to load and they're gonna haul it over there and i'll show you my new piece of property and get these girls unloaded maybe split apart a little bit all right so here is the property that actually i'll be signing for it this friday my brother's selling me this oh man it's awesome over here uh it's 14 acres really close to 14 acres like 13.9 doesn't matter but Right over here, there's a nice little stand of hardwood, especially down here. There's some a bunch of little white oaks. There's a few there. But if, Lord willing, and it comes to fruition next year, might have a little house stuck right over here, a nice small house. We've already uh, brought some blueberry bushes over here. The local blueberry farm, there was a, they have probably 2,000 bushes, I think they said. We went and purchased some. They were selling these bushes. I mean, they're... These bushes are probably, uh, let's see, I'm six foot tall, and they're still a couple feet taller than me. They're like eight foot tall, and I mean they're they're mass, they're pretty massive. So they were selling these for fifty bucks a plant, but you had to go dig them out yourself. My brother took a skid steer and dug plants out. I think my family all together, I think we bought about eighteen plants off of them the other day. So I got. I bought three of them. That was just a little chunk that broke off, so I stuck it in there, and I have nine plants at my house, and I'll be moving over here eventually. So, hopefully we have a nice little blueberry patch here. And I learned it just from watching and talking to the guy that, that uh, has the blueberry patch, honeybees don't pollinate these a lot. They do pollinate them, but one of the main pollinators is bumblebees. So, there, you see bumblebees all over the blueberries and here is my little setup i got going to put my bees in there's the fence i used to have at my house moved it over and i got a giant mess going on here now got a couple splits here i don't think they worked they'll be getting mixed in with another hive i think and my i got my sister split here as well but moved a little shed over here to put all my beekeeping supplies in hopefully i can keep that more organized than i used to and I'm going to be moving these in. Uh, that taller hive, my plan is to split that into two different hives. I've seen people do splits like that where they take a, a hive that has two deep hive bodies and just basically break them in half. So I'm going to try that right, right while I'm uh, taking these girls apart. So uh, this is an awesome place over here. This is just, I don't know, it's just, it's awesome. Sort of tucked in here, nice and secluded. There's some farm fields up here. I actually caught my first two fox right back in the fields here when I got back into trapping. My brother helped me out with uh, cable restraints. I caught a red fox and a gray fox back there. So it's really cool. I'm going to get to bringing all this stuff into the shed, moving the bees in there. Once I get them in there and once I start splitting that one in half, I might turn you back on. And this is my first time I'm going to do a split like this where I completely split a hive in half. But I've seen people do it. It seems like it would be a really effective way. And this seems like a really good time to do it when I'm completely relocating my bees. I'm going to orient one box one way and one box the other way. So I got another bottom board set up there facing that way. And I'll face the other one this way. Hopefully I'll find my queen and I'll know which box has the queen. And the other one I'm going to make sure it has everything in it. Bees, fresh brood, uh, fresh eggs and stuff so they can make themselves a new queen. So I'm going to get this rolling and i'll be in a suit from here on out i'm sure because these girls are gonna be riled up i think maybe not i don't know we're gonna find out get this super off of here there's not much going on in that got the burr comb here clean that off Yeah, I'm gonna hopefully find my queen. They're not coming out and attacking like crazy though. 
They're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. So I'm going to give them a little smoke here. I'm going to set this high body on that new bottom board. Ah. I'm gonna try to pick up this whole bottom one here. Put it over there. I cannot believe how calm these bees are. Well, I'm going to start checking here. Hopefully, I'm going to find my queen. If I can find the queen, if I got this one facing this direction, and this one facing back towards the camera, and I'm just going to do a quick search for the queen. Okay, so I found the queen. She is right. No, I lost the queen. She's here somewhere. Some of you guys are probably watching her and saying, there she is. She is right here. Crawling up through here. So I know what box she's in. I'm going to add a box. Add another deep hive on here. So I know this one has a queen over here. Now I'm going to check this hive right here and make sure that it has fresh eggs and stuff in it. And then I can get these ones wrapped up. Okay, so life is good right now. I got tons of there's fresh uh, cat brood here. There's fresh eggs in these cells right here. So they have the ability to make themselves a new queen. And we'll see how this type of a split goes for me. I've never did one this way. My other splits, I have not been that successful with this year. So I'm hoping for better, better things to come from this one. So I'm just going to check a few more frames here. Hmm. Completely cap brood. They'll have plenty, plenty of bees in here. actually got some uh man maybe they were getting ready to swarm <laughs> looks like they were building they might have been building queen cells down here already but there's no there are no eggs in them so they can't make a queen out of them that's for sure Okay, so the rest of this stuff is just going to be a lot of busy work, putting stuff together. I will turn you back on and just give you a quick final look at how everything is here. Okay, so I got to get this on video, especially for my sister. This is the split that I, that I made for her when I found all the queen cells in her one hive. And I just spotted a... A virgin queen in here she's not laying yet but they just hatched not too long ago here's the open queen cell right here i just saw her here she's not she's not big yet to really spot easily but she's i really want to find her especially to show my sister she could have scooted to the other side i'm going to look here for her i think i just spotted her she did crawl on the other side she is right man i don't know if you're going to be able to see her or not She crawled to the other, right here she is, right here. 
I don't know if you can see her or not, but she's got a way bigger thorax than the rest of them, her body, whatever it's called. Cool beans. Cool beans. There you go, Sister Kim. Well, folks, there she is. Uh, let's see, what do I got here? I got... That hive has a really strong queen in it and a fresh box on top with all kinds of stuff. All, the frames have all kinds of stuff in them. This one is the split that I made off of it. It has fresh eggs and everything in it ready to go. That's my sister's split that I made for her and then just found that virgin queen in it. And this is a mixture of two splits. I believe the one split had a queen and one definitely didn't. But I swear I saw eggs in the one. I didn't find a queen, but I'll come back in a, a few days and see if there's actually larva growing in there or any cat brood or something. So hopefully that one takes off as well. And I still got my one hive down in uh, Center County, Julianne. Got a big stack of uh, just all kinds of frames in here. It has all kinds of stuff in it, honey, pollen, nectar. I'm leaving that open until we have a definite rain coming and I'll put a lid on top and I'm just letting them rob that. I'm gonna let it open so hopefully that wax moss will stay the heck out of there. So that's about it. The apiary has been moved. I'll come back later today and I need to fix up my gate a little bit here. I don't think it's quite bear proof yet in my opinion, but I need to get my other latch fixed down here. And got all my surprise screws up here for the bear. He decides to crawl over my fence i'm sure he could rip the fence off but i think the easiest route is going to be to try to crawl over it hit them it might be a hurt piece so thanks for watching my video and if anybody's interested in seeing any of my transformation of my property clearing out brush and everything let me know i'll put some videos of that i might put some videos just for myself just to have like a uh, some documentation of it and so I can go and see it myself in progress. So thanks again for watching everybody. Have a good one and God bless you all